really enjoy this time. Um, it's so serious now. And I know as a coach, like I tell, you know, my players, it, it, just go, go to the movies, you know, go to go do something fun. Enjoy the time that you have now, um, because and, you know, as the years go by, the more responsibilities come and the more things get serious. But things don't have to be serious right now. So really enjoy being playing basketball. You know, I miss it mm-hmm. every day. You know, I miss just being able to to just play. So just enjoy those moments and don't take it for granted. I would say put your phones down and enjoy the people around you. Because like when we came up, we didn't necessarily have cell phones with us all the time. So we became so cool because we had each other, right? And so you guys go on these really cool trips. You have these really cool moments, but you're trying to capture it on your Snapchat. And you <laughs> aren't <laughs> technically <laughs> capturing the memory. And then you have to save it and then look at it on your phone. Like, y'all remember when? Yeah, girl. No. Like, really enjoy the moment and be present. The world doesn't need to see what you're doing. They don't care. And... What's important is the people that you're with um, and then building those relationships because if you do it right, they'll last a long time and then you'll be in your 30s and you get to do cool stuff like this. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I would say, especially now, like Brittany was saying, just don't get caught up in everybody else's stuff. Like with social media, it's so easy to compare yourself and think that you're not doing enough or not or this person is doing this or they have this or they're when everything is not always what it seems so don't get too caught up in all of that and in all of these announcements of who offered who and what they've been doing and just really just focus on yourself and be true to yourself um and and really just take the time to enjoy this whole process and everything you're doing and the opportunities that you have um and and just like really pay attention to to what's important to you like just don't get caught up in all of that because it's it's really not important at the end of the day and it it doesn't matter and regardless of what the next person may have like basketball is really like a blessing like it's it's not an opportunity (laughs) 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 just like it's it's you know it's just a blessing to be able to have that talent and, and play um and to be able to do what a lot of people can't do. So just enjoy it, like Riz said, and just take a moment to really uh, understand what you have. Yeah, and take a minute and celebrate your accomplishment. Like, you have done some amazing things, and to get a scholarship when there are thousands upon thousands of people that play and everyone doesn't get one, like, that's huge. So celebrate that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Find an identity outside of sport outside of being an athlete. Yes. Um, you have to make sure that you you figure out what you love and what you're passionate about outside of sports. Um, because when it comes, when four years pass, like Brittany said, it comes quick. And you look up, and for some people who are privileged enough, uh, like Devro to make it professionally, and it continues. But at some point, even for Devro, um, it will come to an end. And, and what is your identity? Um, what things do you really care about socially? Are you are you an artist? Um, do you care about farming? Like, there are so many other things in this life besides sports, and you have to figure it out or start to, to explore those things. Like, start the exploration now, today, um, because basketball is, is great. You can love it. You can continue doing it forever. You can be in the rec lead at 85. They got they got those for, old, for the, our elder folks, um, but you're going to have to do something else. Um, so, so start the exploration now because it will really feed you and you won't feel lost um, when this, the ball stops, right? It's going to stop at some point yeah. and then and it's going to end and we're all going to be here and we're going to be like, all right, what do I do next? Yeah. And so have a plan for that because it's really enjoyable when you figure out what you really love outside of sports. Yeah.